Hey everyone, if you can't tell this video is filmed at the same time as my last video, but I thought I'd have content for while I'm editing my New York vlog. Have we mentioned I'm going to New York? I'm so annoying. I thought I'd do one last video about Scad Lacoste. This one's going to be a bit different because it's more of a sit down and talk video, which I don't do a lot of on this channel. I think I'm going to do more of them. I'm not sure. Just tell me what you think. So, if you don't know, I recently went to SCAD Lacoste with the SCAD Preview Tour de France program. And it was amazing. There were about 40 of us. I'll tell you how it went. If you see my vlog, you can probably skip this brief recap. I flew down to Atlanta. We all met at the airport. We flew to Paris, to Marseille. And then we drove in a bus to Lacoste. And every day, we had all these little adventures. It was really fun. If you are a preview and you haven't started SCAD yet, definitely sign up for this trip. It's a great way to kickstart your creativity before the quarter even starts. And if you're a current SCAD student, go to Lacoste. I don't know a lot about that, but this was fun. It was really pretty. And the scenery was super inspiring. While I was there, we did have workshops for success. I... As you know, I lost my sketchbook. I lost the little card that told us how to be successful, but I did keep notes in this little journal that they gave us. Here we go. Pre-B success notes. They started us off by giving us 10 tips focused on main words. The first tip was to be professional, meaning you're responsible for your own brand, your interactions, your being how you act, your presentation, your words, how you carry yourself, posture, um, your emails, your dress, your introduction, every single communication is part of your presentation as a person and you have to be professional through that and show that you are a true artist and professional. I keep saying the word professional. Next is support. You have to use your resources and listen to advice that people give you because you're given all the support at SCAD and you really need to take advantage of it. Do not wait until senior year to get started with all the support services that SCAD has. You can make appointments online. There's a writing studio, peer tutors. You can make emotional support appointments and their career services, which I actually recommend starting to get in touch with career services from day one because it is so helpful apparently i don't know i'm using their advice and do not be afraid to ask for anything because they're gonna try and make it happen for you reading this advice is actually calming me down because i'm a bit panicked about moving in and starting scad so i'm kind of glad that i'm doing this video right now prepare is word number three prepare for everything as soon as they hand out the syllabus, you have to be proactive and you need to put all those dates in your planner day one. You also need to be prepared for class. Always have your pens, your pencils, your paper. Just be ready to do stuff. Number four is nourish, specifically eat. There's a whole SCAD community and you have to take care of your body, your heart, your craft. And if you have eating restrictions like I do, hashtag vegan, you have to communicate with the managers and the chefs to try and make sure that you are getting everything that you need. Number five is to explore. We're in this great school and there's going to be so many opportunities to explore. There are all the campuses. There's SCAD. Savannah, SCAD Atlanta, SCAD Lacoste, where I was, SCAD Hong Kong, which is the only one I haven't explored yet, and I haven't even started SCAD. It's all one big community too, and each of these campuses has their own histories and settings, and it's they're all inspirational in their own ways. A curious mind is a creative mind, and never stop questioning. That sounds like pretty basic advice, but you just gotta heed it. Heed it. Number six is mentor, which is actually both a noun and a verb in this situation. You're going to need mentors, and eventually you're going to need to be a mentor for younger students. You have office hours with professors where they can mentor you, and they were just saying, 
go to these office hours, create connections, network. Networking is the most important thing. And the upperclassmen know the tips, so get in with those upperclassmen. Number seven is resources. They are at your fingertips. Ask and you shall receive is one thing they're saying. So use your resources. Uh, SCAD is known for having the best of the best, the library, the technology, everything. They're trying to create the artists of tomorrow. While I was in the class, I read Paula Wallace's, President Wallace's memoir, uh, Be in the Acorn. And she was talking about how they were basically pioneering college programs in computer art by listening to the students and getting these computers to try and make it best for the future. Number eight is sleep. You need to be your absolute best and to be your absolute best, you need sleep. I've heard a lot about how SCAD stands for sleep comes after death. Maybe don't do that. Nine, community, rely on it. Your community is there to support you. It cares for you, it grows you, it creates connections for you. You have to find people like you and not like you need you need to expand your horizons and meet people that push you to your limits and out of your comfort zone so that you can continue to grow as a person. You have to collaborate. A good example of that SCAD Pro. We actually had a workshop on SCAD Pro. If you want a video on that, I haven't actually done it. I can just repeat what they've told me. In the future, if I do it, I'll make a video on it. I don't know, comment down below. So number 10 is SPARK, which stands for the fire of creativity. You have to attend the SCAD event. I've been looking online and there looks like there's so many fun events and I cannot wait. Every field has a signature event, the SCAD fashion show. There's all sorts of things that every single field, you have your event, SCAD film festival, etc., etc. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Do not pass it up. Also try not to overextend yourself. I know that's kind of contradictory when they said that, I was like, don't pass things up, don't overextend. Okay, but I guess I'll figure that out. Videos on balancing college life coming soon. And broaden your perspective and create connections that would otherwise not be possible. You're in this place with thousands of other students. Why not broaden your mind, your connections, everything? After that, we got some advice from some successful alumni, which is basically all SCAD alumni. I know I'm making the school sound super great. I'm just getting super excited. Sorry? One of them was be patient with yourself in the process of finding your path. Your path being yourself, your career, and your friends. Because eventually, in terms of friends, you will find people. It could take a year or two, but you will find people that fit with you and your personality. You have to learn about as many majors as possible. I know every time I've taken a bunch of pre-college classes, every time I take a new class, I'm like, this is it, this is gonna be my major. But that's every single class I take. And everything's awesome, so you just need to learn. So start early on and take a ton of intro classes. Be open, the path, you're taking will not look the same as the people's next to you. Even if you're in the same major, it will look completely different. You have to take advantage of SCAD's connections. There are companies that come, there are guest speakers, brand events. Also, listen to your professor's critiques, even the positive ones and the negative ones. Because the positive ones can bring you up, but the negative ones it shows you where you need to work on it. And that's even almost, I would argue, more important. Learning continues after SCAD with your job. You have to continue, you have to continue your spirit of learning in your career. And it just keeps going and keeps going. What's the song? It's like... Da, 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 da. What is it? Do I keep going and... Do Oh my god. Okay. Don't be afraid to be messy. I'm already messy, so thanks for the advice. And your work and your professional life. Creativity is a messy thing. A SCAD is a welcoming community. You're accepted no matter what. You can make friends from everywhere and anywhere. 
the education is all around supportive professors. You got to connect with them. They help you inspire creativity and move forward with your projects and your career and what you are doing as an artist. Create a passion. You need to find what you love to do and don't rush through your foundations classes. You have to get involved outside of class. It's got so many clubs, sports, a ton of extracurricular activities and get involved. A family and your friends that understand you, you want to keep in contact with them while you're away at college because life at home doesn't just disappear. There are guest speakers all the time at SCAD. Take advantage of that network. Make connections. Learn. Every detail matters. It's important to keep attention to detail. Resources that SCAD offers even work with you as an alumni. So keep coming back to those. You gotta take care of yourself. Everything happens for a reason. The universe has its ways. And you have to be open to whatever, to accept the flow of the universe. I believe, yep, that's all my notes from that Be Successful workshop. So anyways, while I was there, I learned a lot. I also learned from professors about professory things. Like I took a I took a topography course. I learned some about art, architectural history. It was honestly an amazing trip. I had a ton of fun. I learned a lot. In terms of vegan food on the trip at the Scout of the Cost campus, if I were you, I'd bring iron supplements and like a protein mix because it was a lot of rice. Uh, they had good vegetables and fruit though too, but... You might want to work on getting your iron and protein. I think that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, I can make a follow-up video. I don't know if you guys would want that, though. Just comment down below, I guess. Yeah. Oh, and goodbye. I'll see you later.